Hello guys and welcome back to my channel where today I'm gonna show you how to easily set up a custom day-night cycle with a new day sequence plugin and most importantly how to actually get the moon to be part of your day cycle so it actually moves just like the sun. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have the plugin enabled. So to do that you just go to edit then plugins and then you just search for the day sequence plugin and as you can see I already have it uh, enabled but if you don't have it enabled you just uh, enable it and restart the engine next you have to delete all the old lighting stuff so usually that's all the stuff in your lighting folder except for maybe you have a post process volume configured um, you should leave that but everything else um, will be included in the new day sequence actor. So you can delete that from your lighting folder. And once you have all that deleted, it's as easy as going to add content panel and look for day sequence and then choose the sun moon day sequence. You can just click on it and it will automatically be added to your scene. However, you will have to adjust the position um, just put it on zero 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 because otherwise you might actually be outside of the sky sphere but as you can see um, now it looks very good and it seems to work and I would also recommend uh, to keep your project more organized uh, that you actually move the Sun moon day sequence in your lighting folder so it's just uh, more easily accessible You can drag it or you can also right click it and then go to move to and then select the lighting folder. Right now it doesn't show up because it already is in the lighting folder. Now with the day sequence in your level you actually get a little control on the top left corner that lets you control the time of day. If we just use the controls to cycle through the day sequence you will see that our sun already moves as intended However, the moon currently just stays in a place which is very unrealistic and probably not what you want for your game. So in order to fix that, we have to modify our day sequence collection. And in order to do that, you just click on browse to asset in content browser and it will open the folder where it's stored. So in order to modify this day sequence collection, I would suggest you to copy the base day sequence to a new folder in your game content because by default the day sequence collection is in an engine folder meaning that if you modify it or if you copy it inside that folder it will apply to every single project you have and this is something that can be beneficial but it can also get very unorganized very quick so I just recommend keeping it in the game content. So once you go into the day sequence collection you can see that it's actually made out of two separate sequences, one base day sequence and one procedural sequence, which is actually doing most of the work here because it calculates the sun's path through the sky based on the coordinates and the date that you enter. By default, it is set to the 5th November and uh, the coordinates are set to the Epic Games headquarters but if you want to change the Sun's path to the sky the only real value you'll have to change is the latitude because the longitude and the time zone they kind they kind of cancel each other out so they don't really that matter that much uh, what really matters is the latitude because it basically tells you how far north you are so, for example, if you want to have your game set in a very northern place, like for example Iceland, and you set the date to June, for example. And of course, don't forget to actually set your modified day sequence collection as your day sequence collection asset. You can actually simulate a realistic midnight sun. However, we still have the problem of the moon being stationary. And in order to fix that, it's as easy as creating a new procedural day sequence. Select Sun Position Sequence, just like the one above. However, in the field 
sun component name, instead of sun, you're simply gonna put moon. And of course, you'll have to copy all your values from above to your new procedural sequence. And if we now try this out, we would see that the moon is exactly at the same location as the sun, um, which is not what we want. So we'll have to offset the moon's position by 12 hours. And in order to do that, we can just change the time zone value from minus 5 to plus 7, as this would be a 12 hour offset. And I'm also gonna change the latitude to 50, which is around where I live, because I think it's easier to assess the results. So if we now cycle through the day sequence, you'll see that we finally have a moving moon. And not only is it moving, but it's also moving in the exact same path that the sun is taking, which uh, is what we want. Sadly, I haven't found a good way yet to animate the stars in a way that they actually follow the sun and the moon in their rotation. Um, but I'm pretty sure they will add a feature for this pretty soon as the plugin is still in experimental phase. But I'm very curious to see uh, what they have in store for us. But that was it for this video. Uh, I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. And if you did, feel free to let me know by liking the video or subscribing to the channel if you don't want to miss out on any future uploads. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. And until then, bye bye.